Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. And yes, my hair is a disaster today. I just haven't had a time to do it. But we have more important things in my hair, and that is getting this bridge made for the Attorney of Playset. So as many of you guys know, I have uh, been trying to make a bridge um, that goes from here to here. Now, this is a bridge that's made by somebody else. I told you guys who are members, hey, if you're a member, um, I'll send you one free. And I sent some out to people and showed you guys how to bend it and everything else to make it fit. But it's just has been, been just really bugging me to get this right. Now, if you stick it in upside down like this, it, it kind of works because the little piece goes down inside there. But it just doesn't fit quite right. If you turn it this way to fit, then, you know, it's too high on this end and has kind of a weird gap right here. And that's why I had the, the bending thing going on. So I decided to take an order the real piece, and this is the real one from um, the actual 1986 Eternia playset. I noticed this right here is different than how it's than the one we had made for the 3D print, and I noticed that the size is the same. And what's strange is when I went and downloaded the guys, um, this is the original one, this is the 3D print one. When I went and downloaded the guy's model, he had two different lengths, and he had the vintage one longer than the Origins one. <laughs> Excuse me. So my thought is I'm going to take this original one and I'm going to scan it in using my scanner. So I have my uh, down here. I have my magic. I forgot what they call it. Magic mat, I guess. And I can use this because it has the dots on it to help not have a repeat and then use my new rev point scanner and scan this in. Now, I've already scanned in the distance between here to here. So I've actually scanned in this piece right here so I can find it on my... I may have deleted it off here. Let me take a look and see if I still have it on here. Rev point. Actually, you know, it's funny. I always call it rev point, but it's a uh, revo point, and I always pronounce it wrong all the time. I'm sure that company, every time they watch my videos, probably cringes. Man, that guy never gets it right. But yeah, it's Revo Point, but I always call it Rev Point for some strange reason. All right, let's see if I have the model in here still from before. Loading, loading, loading. I may have deleted it to save space. We'll see. Load. All right, let's go to models. Oh, I do have it in there. So. Load, load, load. There it is. There is the Eternia playset, and you can kind of see um, I basically scanned from the top platform to the castle. Um, I did a lot of cleanup on the computer, and basically it's just for sizing. So when I create the bridge in the computer, I can make sure that it fits just right into, um, into it. So I got that part already scanned, so that's cool. Now I didn't scan the whole Eternia, just, just that one little aspect so I can get that correct when I go to take the original and make it fit inside her like it's supposed to. So if you happen to have a 1986 Eternia playset, please contact me. I want to know how it fits into the castle part right here, the um, gray skull part, because I'm thinking that I may not be doing it right. I'm tempted to buy the directions, but the directions are so expensive online. Or if somebody has a PDF of the directions, if you can send it to me, or even a screenshot of some stuff or pictures that would help so much in this part. Anyway, so that is the plan. I'm going to go and hit new project, new project. And I'm going to start scanning this piece right here. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let me go ahead and name that down and get a good scan of this original piece on my magic mat. So. Let's do this thing. All right, so I went online and I seen some people and some people like to use the continuous shot and the single shot. And they were saying sometimes you can get a better detail out of the continuous shot. Now let's see if I can get any spots at all on here. It is just not picking it up, being it's so dark. So let me turn off. There we go. Turned off the auto, the auto. Now it's getting it better. Okay. Yes. That should work. That should do. 
So let's go ahead and uh, do this thing. Let's see if we can get this to work. If not, I'll have to spray this with the special scanner spray to catch all the details. I'm going to use continuous. So I like to use continuous. I have it in near mode. Near mode. And that way then I can uh, get up really close to it and get a good detail shot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to walk around this. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. It's already messed up. Already messed up. I'm going to delete delete it because it messed it up already. It's just it's just having a hard time. And I had the same issue before without the magic mat. You know, I'm going to go far mode first. Far mode. And let me get the other magic mat for far mode. You know, I want to see this magic mat works. Switching to far mode. Okay. Let's first do a snap of this. Continuous. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All right, so there we can see that it has done the far mode, but I'm not too happy because it's picking up the magic mat way too much. That is just not going to work. I have to, find, I have to find some way to lift that up out of there. Ah, I'll be right back. The magic mat was just not that magical, so I'm going to go back to my old turntable like I've done many times in the past. There we go, get that spinning. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this light from my camera on top of it. See this cool little light, woo, that's bright. Let's see how I turn this thing off. And I'm gonna mount it to the front of this right here. Let's see, there's gotta be some way to mount this. What? There's got to be a way to mount this beauty on there. Hmm. Guess I could take it, some rubber band and wrap it around there. Okay. Oh, that's stinky. All right. I'll just put this back on top of the camera and just turn it on extra bright. Yep. There we go. I got the light at 100%. 100%. We got our non magic mat. We got it spinning. Let's delete this one. Delete the model. And let's go ahead and try this again. Let's try this again, shall we? Do, 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 do. Oh, my spinner stopped. I'm getting way too much background on there, but I'm not too worried about that. I, I can cut that off later, seeing it's raised up. Ugh. All right. Now let's go ahead and add another thing to this. There we go. Stop. Checkbox it. Let's turn it on side. Add another 
scan to it. There we go. Scan, I tell you, scan. Scan now. That does not look very promising. Delete. Delete. Let's kill the spinner. We'll walk around it. Checkbox. I don't know the scan to it. I know you guys can't see where I'm at right now, but. Ah, 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 work. Work, work, and no go. Okay, I'm starting over. I'm starting over. Okay, I have an idea. I will take the magic mat and put it under the turntable. And we shall try this again. Bottles. New project. Continuous. Uh, da da da. Da da da. We'll see how magic this mat is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Checkbox, and I will change it to near mode, near mode, and we'll leave it in the same setting and see if we can't get the detail on this brickwork on top. All right. Cancel, pause, and let's remove. I think I removed enough. Okay, I'll try this again. Hit it. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Pick it up. Pick it up. No. Pause. Reject, reject, reject. Okay, I know what I'm doing wrong now. Delete. All right, let's try this again. This time, I'm going to choose new project. And... Nope. 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 How do you choose marker mode? Marker mode. Da, 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 marker mode. Dark 
general marker. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Ote. Ote. There we go. We shall try this again. And we'll try far mode again. Load, 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 the load, load, load. There we go. Hit it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Look at that. You can see that or not. It's looking mighty nice. Yeah, let me go ahead and change it to near mode. Near mode. We'll try this again. Okay. Hit it. Hey, it found the right spot. It found the right spot. Now it's lost. Need some markers. There we go. Oh, oh, losing the markers. Come on. Come on, Zibeta. You can do it. You can do it if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. is working Boop. let's come over here and see if we can't get this side continuous there we go it found it i found my thrills oh 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 Oh, 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 oh. What do you mean too few points? There's a lot of points in there. You can find it. You can do it. I know you can. goes goes dude dude do 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 Oh, yeah, this is coming together nicely. Okay. Pause. Delete the last one. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I know you guys can't tell. It's like a big mess right now. I'm 
Trust me, that is golden. We'll save that one. Now we will do the bottom. Change it back to far mode. Far mode. Do -do 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 -do. You're going, man, Hebro, this is the most boring video you ever made. Well, this is what it's like to scan stuff in. It is so, it is painful. It is torturous. Start. Mm -mm -mm. Do -do -do -do. And checkbox. Make another one for plus. There's a little bit more so I can get some light on this side. Yeah. And check box. One last scan. For plus. Now I'm blocking my light source. All right. And checkbox. All right. So I got a whole bunch of scans now, and we're going to go and try this out. I'm going to toss one on the computer, see if I can combine them. If I can, we will have the original, the original, original from 1986 bridge scanned in, and then I can use this to size it to work somehow with the new castle. And that would be cool. Yes, that would be cool. All right. Soon. Three hours later. So here are my four scans. One, two, three, and four. And I started merging them. And they looked just okay. And merged the next one. And it looked okay, but not quite what I was looking for, merged the third one and did all the work to uh, try to uh, mesh it and it just looks horrible. Horrible! I mean this looks awful. It's like a bridge covered in snow instead of a nice scanned in bridge with the brickwork. You lose. And it's so frustrating because this one here, let's take a look here, this one here you can kind of see the brickwork but it's not spectacular. So, yep, my scanning did not work out very well at all. Not at all! So, back to the drawing board. 
Um, thanks for watching my video. I know it's kind of a waste. You're like, what? All this stuff and it didn't even work? Yeah, this this is my life when it comes to things. I'm trying to get them to work sometimes. My wife and I always laugh about it because it's not a matter of uh, of making it work. It's a matter of when I'm going to finally figure out a way to make it work. So this is not the end. This is just uh, one more step in the learning process. For every failure, there's always going to be another step towards success. So um, back to the drawing board, trying to figure out different ways to scan it. And uh, we will try, try again. And like they say in the 1987 movie, good journey. Bye now. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it!